Welcome to the channel. So xanthan gum is commonly used in lots of gluten-free baking recipes because it takes the place of some of the gluten and helps everything bind together. Lots of gluten-free flour blends already have this in it, but you may make your own or you may be converting a recipe and you don't have xanthan gum in the mix and you're trying to figure out how much to use. So how much xanthan gum do you need? Let's talk about that today. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So please consider hitting subscribe and let's get started. So with gluten-free baking, sometimes it's all about trial and error. These amounts of xanthan gum in each of these type of baked goods are to be used as a starting guide because you may find that your recipe works better with a little more or a little less, but this is a good place to start. All of these amounts are per cup of gluten-free flour without xanthan gum in it. So of course, if your recipe has two cups of gluten-free flour in the recipe, then you're gonna need double the amount that I'm showing you here. If you are making gluten-free cookies, you wanna start with a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum in your recipe per cup of flour. If you are following recipes for cakes and pancakes, you wanna start with half a teaspoon of xanthan gum per cup of gluten-free flour. For recipes such as muffins and quick breads, you wanna start with three quarters of a teaspoon of xanthan gum per cup of gluten-free flour. If you're making gluten-free bread recipes, you wanna start with a teaspoon and a half of xanthan gum per cup of gluten-free flour. Finally, if you're making gluten-free pizza doughs, you wanna start out with using two teaspoons of xanthan gum. Guys, again, this is just to get you started. These are average amounts, so you may find that your recipe needs a little more or a little less, and go from there. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps a little bit. If it did, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.